Okay, so final episodes. Um, the final, obviously, episodes are always more for the pretty bits. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Excited to see what how, um, it happens. Now on to the tires. Now, usually I do this first off. It's just, I completely forgot. Um, life happened in my world. When I blink, it's like four months. Um, I just, you know, obviously so much stuff happened. So um, it kind of completely lost me. Now I noticed these during the, um, the correction part of the episode. So I thought, right, we need to denib. So what is a denib of a tire? So, you know, you get these little knobs. Hold on, let me get it. <laughs> you probably will not be able to see it, but if you do, fantastic. So it looks like this, it's not even gonna focus on that, is it? Can you see that nib? Yeah. So the whole purpose of the D nib, again, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? But it, I believe, it, it just adds a little bit more to the tire. Now, a D nib is really not, you know, it's not necessary, it's not like a must, but I believe over time, um, it just, it's a nicer experience when you're dressing the tires. So I've got these little clippers, I mean, you can technically pull them off. In fact, yeah. And they're pulling right at the stem, but you know these closer ones. I like to really pull them off and then snip them. Yeah, but as I was saying, the Tudina Bataya, I believe, if you've never done it, Michelin's are actually not that bad. There's still a few nibs, but some tires are worse than others. So it's just when the applicator's going, it's not catching the nib and it's not kind of distorting the the patting of your, or the pattern of your dressing. Again, you're gonna probably think I, um, I'm a complete weirdo for this, but who cares? It, um, and it, I think it just makes the tie look nicer, you know, like that. I'm not even gonna see the stealth look because it's not, but just a cleaner look, that's it. There we go. But yeah, a D-nib will work fantastic. You should normally do it from new. I forgot to do it, hence why I'm doing it now. These snippers, clippers, whatever you wanna call them, snippers. <laughs> um, I mean, extremely sharp. They are designed to cut the little thin wire. So please do not pop your tires because that is the worst thing. I don't need to tell you what happens next if you do, but the point on these is very sharp. The actual teeth or, or the actual blade on these is extremely sharp. So please be mindful. Boom. So this is the final tire to be denibbed. And now we go on to my favorite part. So these tires, as you saw in early episodes, have been double degreased. I've just run over them with a, a neat alcohol solution just to be sure and now we've got the Prezol household 750 mil with our label that is being custom made for this bottle with special glue I keep saying special glue because um, Prezol like to use a slightly um, weirder HDP so this is not the same HDP as our HDP bottle so and we've used a completely new glue that we only use in this type of label. We don't use this anywhere else in our range. So, but this is now what? Three, six months old. However long this label is. Of course, I look after it. As you can see, the bottle is still as new. And yeah, there's no peel. So the complete label and bottle solution there. I've got a new applicator pad. As you can see, just a little bit. You don't want too much. Now, I will talk about a lot of people talk about foam versus a brush method. Now, in the cupboard there, I have got um, the curveball bush, uh, brush from Detail Factory. It's all right. I mean, come on, it's, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's absolutely horrendous to apply dressings with, but it's just about this thick. So obviously you're gonna touch the floor, which again is not a big issue. You need to get up into the rim. It's doable, but not a big issue, but it's just 
why. I've then got our tri-group detail factory, um, our first trial one, which I thought I'm never going to use it, so let's just try it. So it's the same material as the curveball, but obviously it's tiny, so I thought, oh, this is the one. And it's great. In here I tried it and I thought, oh my God, I found the perfect solution. However, I did it outside on the AMG and it was actually a warmer day. Now this, obviously, if you didn't know, you're going to know again. This is packed full of resins as well. So the way the brush applicates kind of the product onto the tire, it's a lot thicker. It's, and it's, so it started to tack up and I did not like it. Now with this, they're fairly inexpensive. They are very easily replaceable. Um, and you can, as you've just seen me do there, you can butterfly them into any shape that you want. You can get inside the rim. Um, and I've always found that no matter what, foam gives a more even application. That's, that's just the way life is. You know, I'm not saying one product's worse than the other product, but for me, foam works much better. So. I'm going to continue using foam until I find a much better alternative. I am working onto something new. I forgot this is a fresh pad, so I need to put just a bit more on. The first one's always the worst one. I am working on something completely kind of new um, for tire application right now. I've got it in testing. It's way too early days to actually show it right now. I would love to show it to you, but it's just it's just not the right time. We're still getting the initial version ones and 1.1s kind of out and in testing to um, a few select people who do testing along with us. But boom, look at that. See what I mean? Like with this edge now, if it was um, the curveball would have uh, dressed half my floor the small detail factory works well, but you just have to kind of work with the bristles, whereas with this, it's just easy. And the most important thing, apart from ease, even if it was harder to use, but it gave a better result, I would consider it. Whereas it doesn't, it applies it too thick. And yes, it soaks in and you can level it off, but why? I mean, look, it's a perfect first time, so, why change something that's not broken? So yeah, with this foam, I prefer it so much more better. But stay tuned, I am working on something innovative, something new. Um, if it works out, you're gonna see it. If it doesn't, it will never make the light of YouTube. If you, if you aren't using neat V2 dress in your 750 Prezzel, please just try it, it's nice. I'll show you one more time. So obviously don't do half sprays because um, it, it won't work as well, but if you do one full spray, you've just seen how um, it atomizes very well. So the consistency, neat, is actually really nice. So look at that. until a product can beat the simplicity of foam, it will not work. I mean, look, I don't even have to squish it. I just thought I'd mention it because I know there's a lot of um, kind of people who have now moved into the curveball and I was the first one to buy a curveball in the UK. So I thought, hell yeah, let's go, let's try it. But it just did not work for me as well as I would. So if you're cute, in fact, I'll, I'll go and show you what it looked like. I misinformed it wasn't a tri-grip, it was the standard detail factory, but um, yeah, so the detail factory, as you can see by the thickness, it's actually nowhere near as wide as the tire, so obviously you can massage it into areas and stuff like that. Well, this is the curve ball, I'm sure you've seen me um, kind of use this, so I thought, oh, come on, let's try it. Now, at this point, it's nice in your hand, but look, it is the width of the tire, pretty much. So when you get down the bottom, as you can see, it, it will touch the floor. So I personally, you know, I may need to do a bit more testing with the but right as of now, um, I'm not really too keen on it. But yes, form's lovely. Get it into the, into the lips. Who dresses inside the lip? Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. 
Are you one of those people? Or are you not? But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this now to soak in overnight, as I always do with V2 dress. It gets better. Again, it's like our, um, it's, it's a little bit like our spray sealant. It looks great now, um, but the longer you leave it, so right now it's in its most, again, vulnerable state. I would recommend you come back to it if you're really like a geek like me. So come back to it 30 minutes in, one hour in, and then obviously even just the morning after. So when this gets the chance just to sit overnight, it just looks like a completely different kind of product. Um, but most importantly, it's the feel of the, I mean, even now it's been what, five minutes and it just feels really, really nice. But just look at the depth and the richness, it's the most important, not gloss, it's not like ridiculously shiny, um, but it just, oh, it looks like rubber should look out of the factory, but it's not, I mean, I don't know how well that camera's picking it up, but just from here, you know, this ring, um, it looks like truly stunning, so yeah. And I always think the rear tires look better than the front tires dressed. I don't know if it's just me, but I just think right now this is, perfection to me. All right guys, so the series is finally over. All the other two tires are now um, completely moisturized. So I'm, I'm super happy with how this car's come out. Like I said to you, um, this was the plan for me anyway at the start was to try and go a little bit deeper for you. Um, film more things that I usually wouldn't film. Try and involve you along more in the process. Some people, you know, maybe kind of bored at a certain section, but some people will hopefully, this is the main thing for me, hopefully I, I have added value to somebody's life or to a certain group of people's life. So um, this is now obviously in its own uh, dedicated playlist. So if you ever do want to come back to episode one, six, three, you know, it really doesn't matter. But if you do want to come back to a certain episode and you want to see what I've done, or, you know, if you're just one of these people, which I, I guess are the majority here on my channel, you will sit down and watch these verbatim from start to finish, episode one to whichever episode, you know, um, a series usually ends on. And they will kind of call it a day, find a little bit of knowledge from it and kind of move on with their life until we film the next series. So yes, this has been the longest series on the smallest and the cheapest car that we have in the fleet, which is, um, you know, <laughs> go figure. But I really have enjoyed using kind of some new products, new development products. We have literally pretty much, apart from the wet work stuff outside, which you saw, um, we, uh, we've we used inside, you know, quite a high probability or a high percentage of new products. So I am just as curious as you are for everything that we've done inside, how some products last, how they perform, you know, how they look over time. But yeah, I'm super, I'm super pleased so far. And um, yeah, I feel happy. Uh, yeah, so, and the emotional thing for me is uh, a little bit is this is gonna be the last major series that we film at this location. So yeah, it's, it's been, you know, it's been four years um, at this place. We've got, luckily we've, we've been able to be blessed with your custom for, us to achieve four facilities now, almost in a perfect square around us, uh, four facilities which now um, distribute worldwide, um, house filming kind of projects like this. And um, yeah, it's been, this is where the brand started, right? So I'm gonna look back, so take this um, information and obviously hopefully we can all look back in five years time, 10 years time, whatever it is, look back to where we go, you know, new facility, and kind of, you know, see where we go from there. But this place and that car over there, which is the Mustang, is, is what started the brand. So we will be very soon leaving this place, you know, um, obviously moving vlogs coming, membership behind the scenes coming. So keep your our eyes peeled for them because they're gonna be sick. Um, but yeah, this is the last time you're gonna see Yum HQ or Yum Cars HQ um, uh, on a series of this kind of scale for the last time at this place. So guys, thank you so much. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed it. My knees haven't, but yeah, my, my heart's loved this. 
got a big smile on my face, car's looking unreal. I'm, I'm hopefully gonna get this back on the road on Monday and I will enjoy where it belongs outside. Um, yeah, and as always, thank you so much for your huge support. I'll catch you all soon.